Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Rita, and today I'll be reading for you Genesis chapter 11, part 2. Please enjoy. Chapter 12. Oh, that's 12. Ch Genesis chapter 12. God had a wonderful plan for Abraham and his descendants. So God told Abraham to leave his home and his father's family. Abraham did not know where he was going, but he trusted God. So Abraham set out on his journey. God promised that Abraham's descendants would come on would become a great nation. Abraham did not know how this could happen. His wife Sarah had no children, but Abraham trusted that God could make this happen. God also promised that Abraham, by this descendant, would bless everyone in the world. This was a great promise. Again, Abraham did not realize how this could happen, but perhaps he knew about God's promise to Eve in Genesis. Today, of course, we know about Je Jesus. He died so that God would forgive our sins. Because of Jesus, everyone who trusts him becomes a friend of God. But Abraham did not know about such things. He just heard God's promise. He trusted God, so he obeyed God. But Abraham was not a perfect man. He did not always trust God completely. Soon, there would not be enough food. Abraham did not say in the place where God had taken him. Instead, he went somewhere else. And there was trouble for Abraham in that other place, because Abraham was not completely honest. It seems that he preferred to trust his own clever ideas. Instead, he should have continued to trust God. Note on the verses. Verse 1. The Hebrew word for nation is the one that Jews use for gentle nations. That is, all nations that were not Jews. So the word meant a large group of people that had a government and a country. It was not just a tribe that spoke the same language. God chose Abraham. And God called Abraham to leave his home. Abraham did not know where he was going, but he still trusted God. Thank you for watching. That was Genesis chapter 12. I hope you enjoyed.